everyone, this is Rachel or Quadriel Tan, and I'm here with a pair of scissors and a box. Today I have another unboxing to do with you guys. It's another artist doll. Oh, this is the little um, customs paper from the post office. I took off the other label so you guys wouldn't be able to see my address. Um, so this one is not going to be a person doll. Ooh, I wonder where we even un open this having a hard time finding the scene maybe here so this one is not going to be a person doll it's supposed to be a chihuahua I was roaming on eBay the other day looking for you know something in the lower end of pricing to unbox with you guys and I found this new artist on well I don't know how long they've been doing art but they're fairly new to eBay they've only sold a few um, of their BJDs there, and they had a Chihuahua, and I think Chihuahuas are really cute, and I thought, oh, this would be a really fun thing to unbox. So, I don't know if you've been shopping for BJD pets, but the pricing, you're normally talking two to three hundred dollars. You're doing really good to get one for like one hundred dollars, especially if we're not talking like Anthro BJDs, where it's part animal, part human, but like one that actually looks like the animal it's representing, those those prices, they're not cheap. And this doll was between $50 and $60. I'd have to check my eBay invoice to know exactly. And I was really amazed by the low price, so I thought this would be a really cool thing to open for you guys. And if, if it looks like the pictures in the listing, then I thought this would be a really good artist to recommend to you guys. So let's see what it looks like. Have brown paper for filling, like that, eco-friendly. And here's the little box. I really, uh, let me just make sure there's not like a certificate. Okay. Not all artists include like certificates of authenticity with their dolls, but I always, you know, you always want to check in case there is one. I really like this little box. It's always nice when an artist packs something in a box within a box. It just makes me feel a lot more secure about it arriving safely. This remind you know what? This reminds me of the boxes that donuts come in, you know? I might actually do this with that. It looks like the right size for American Girl dolls. To be a donut box. So I'm just gonna set this safely aside so I can craft with it later if I want. Looks like we have some bubble wrap. Ooh, it feels it feels heavy. That's promising. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. This is this is really detailed. And it comes with two faces. We have it does look like no, I think that's just a wrinkle in the ear. Good. For a second there, I thought maybe this was chipped, but I don't think it is. I think it's just the crease in the ear. So let's look at the sleeping head first. There's a little sleeping eye head. The ears are posable. And I think it said on the listing that the mouth, oh my gosh, the mouth opens. It looks like this tooth got knocked a tiny bit askew. But that's okay. I think it looks adorable. So you can pose him to look like he's dreaming. And there's a magnet for attaching it to the head. And then here. Oh my goodness. Look at these little ears. He looks kind of sad actually. It's so adorable. Okay. I'm not entirely sure how to pose these ears. Okay, sorry, I just bumped the camera thing there. All right. I'm just trying to be very careful with this because it's so small, it's probably a bit fragile. I'm not sure if this mouth opens too. Oh yeah, it does, look at that. <laughs> that is really cute. And then his neck is very poseable. It can go up and down. 
and we have the little legs with all of the jointing. It's going to be so fun to experiment with this in different positions. Oh, look at his little toe beans and his nails. So delicate. I believe it said in the listing that he's made from polymer clay. And it does feel like this is polymer clay. So that's going to be a little bit softer than resin. So I want to be, you know, extra careful with like my fingernails. Make sure not to dent him. He has so many joints, I'm almost not sure what to do with them. And then here's his tail. I have, oh, and there's the magnet. So we can switch the head out. So this is for when he's sleeping, and then you can switch it back when he wakes up, I guess. I have my USD here. I was hoping that maybe he would make a good pet for them because I have a whole little house set up for them in a bookshelf. And I thought he would help liven up the scenes to have a dog. Let's see. Hmm, you know what? He He's a... I'm not sure. I'll have to look up the measurements of chihuahuas because this seems like a pretty big chihuahua to me. But I'd have to double check. But he is, he is very well made. I'm a little worried about the ears. Because it looks like... Let me see if I can get it close enough for you guys to see. It looks like there's a little wire through there. And... I'm a little worried that the jointing could break if I did too much with the ears. But that's the only thing I'm seeing that, like could maybe be a problem the jointing is so well done he can achieve all sorts of positions i don't know why i just decided it's a he i wonder if one more thing i want to check in the video Okay, so it looks like the the um, magnet is glued in, so if I wanted to change out the eyes, I would need to pry out the magnet and then to get to the eyes. But they're, they're really nice eyes. I just thought I'd mention that in case you were thinking of getting one from this artist to, so you can know that the eyes are not interchangeable. Let's, let's see if we can get a happy doggy pose oh look at that it's very beseeching cute little eyes and his nose is quite detailed He's very sweet. I'm very happy with him. I'm glad I unboxed him here with you guys. Um, comment below what do you think. The I will be sure to link below in the description the artist's username. I believe it's all numbers. Um, on eBay, so you can check out. They have, um, when I bought this dog, there was, I think, a fennec fox and a cat and a rat and some other animals. So far, it looks like the artist is only doing animals, but there are a lot of different options to choose from. So, if this unboxing was inspiring to you, be sure to go check them out and see if there's any BJD pets that your own dolls need. Or that you need to fix up their dollhouse. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye.